Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. We are now all done with Summer Forest, so it's time to head on down to Autumn Plains. I'm going to bash my head into the floor for no reason and then go after a bunch of sheep just gets to get closer to an extra life. Where'd he go? He went somewhere. There he is. Alright, now that we got the sheep thing taken care of, let's go ahead and go down to Autumn Plains. Thankfully, we took care of Autumn Plains in the middle of the last video. So that's a thing. And we are now back in the entrance to the second boss. And might as well just go ahead and go all the way back to the entrance. Because I know that there are some that I can do right away. If I can do this without accidentally doing a ram. That would be great. Okay, let's see here. We got Zephyr. I know we can do Zephyr in one shot, and that one's going to take a while. But let's go ahead and start with Zephyr. This should be a fun little level, as you're about to see. So we got a bunch of slugs being bombed by a bunch of birds. Sounds interesting enough. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. So it looks like we know what to do here. We have to make our way to the music munitions building in order to clear the stage. We got a couple of enemies here. We have these small birds and these much bigger birds that drop bombs to them. These little birds then spit the bombs at us. Oh, and we also have these little worms that act as the fodder for this level. Now, if we were to kill off all the tiny birds, these big birds that are carrying the bombs, they will try to dive bomb us with the bombs. Which is not the most thing, most fun thing that I can imagine being having to deal with. Thankfully, the bombs can be very easily avoided, and I could have easily missed that. And that. Let's go ahead and grab those. And what if I were to stand here? Ah, perfect. If you can get them to get them to somehow come to you, you can just jump up and flame them. It's awesome. Let's see here. Can I do it here? Where can I do it? Apparently you gotta stand in a specific spot sometimes in order to do it. You gotta stand far enough away. And they're just not doing it for me. Hmm. What if I were to get rid of this guy first? What happens then? There we go. I got hit there, but I can pretty much bounce back from that. And I also want to go down here for some gems as well, because I know there's probably going to be some stuff. Aside from the uh, pits at the edges of levels, I don't think there are really any any bottomless pits in the middle of levels or anything. Anything like that. Also, it amazes me that I have never gone below blue as far as health and hit points are involved. And I can't reach that. Dang cannon just ain't working for me. Do you think you can blast that bird, soldier? 
Jump up here and give it a try. And does he tell you how to do the thing? Just hop up onto the cannon and take out that bird. Okay, so I'm gonna have to explain the controls then. Left and right of the control pad rotate. Up and down let you aim. And circle lets you fire. Gonna have to go a little lower here. There we go. There are also some things that we can shoot down here, such as this jar on a balloon. Be sure to hit the balloon to make the jar come down and fall. There we go. There's that box that I want to destroy. And I want to destroy this door as well. We would have to destroy that door behind the bird anyway. So it's a good thing I got that taken care of right away. And it's a good thing I destroyed everything here because now I can get 20, no, 31 gems. That's three green gems, not two. And let's go ahead and run around here just to get all the gems. And now we can continue. New enemy here, these guys who just roll these TNT barrels at you. I really fell for that one. I believe you can only flame them. I don't think you can charge them. Yeah, you can't charge them. And we have this guy on his own now. Chasing after a worm here. Believe it or not, there are some of these little birds that don't have the little flying guys with the bombs backing them up. And if you get too close to, you, to them, they actually punch at you. And it's actually interestingly cute to say the least. That's what I like about the enemies. They do have their funny moments and they have a lot of them. Got another jar and a balloon to take care of as well as another bomb. Another door to bomb. And I was hoping not to get hit. Oh boy. And I'm at green. And this is the most damage I've taken. Thankfully there was an extra life in that worm. And I'm going to see if there's anything over here. Oh, there is. It's another guy that I can kill. I think I have to go that way in order to continue with the rest of the stage. So let's go ahead and go back to the left here. And yeah, I can take care of these guys. Excellent. And it's a good thing I checked because not only are there some gems here, we have another extra life that I can take advantage of. Now, if I can do this without getting hit by another TNT barrel, that would be great. Good. Thankfully, because we were able to take care of those two bird bombers without having to use the cannon, we can take as long as we need to to not only get to this door, which I'm pretty sure is going to open the munitions missions room and end the stage, but also let us aim for that box there. Thankfully, we don't go over there right away. So I'm just going to aim them a little lower. There we go. And thankfully, none of the gem gems land near where the box was. So we can just go over here. And just get them all, and then we can just come back over in this direction. There is some stuff we can do below. I will take care of those when I get the talisman. Explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh yeah, uh, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. You were surrounded with explosions. That helmet would have been all of you that was left. Whatever, we got the ruby bomb. The portal's over there, but we still got some things that we can do. And I'm going to do them right now. 
Hmm. Looks like a cross between a cow and an elephant. My name is Little Bo Peep, and I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? So we need to get five cowlicks into the pen. So this is Bo Peep. This is the cowlick pen. This is a cowlick. You can charge them to get them to move around a little bit. And you want to get behind them because whenever you get behind them, they move directly away from you. And you can kind of do that to corral them where you want to go. And where you want them to go. If you ram them, they go a long way. And you'll need that to get Calyx over pits. That was just one of the five. Now if we go up here. We have some more bomb birds to take care of. As well as some more gems to grab. And a super fly power up. Not a super fly, a super flame. The super flame will work just like the ram on these calyx. It will definitely be very necessary. Now thankfully, when you hit the calyx and get them over a ledge, they can't drop down from the edge in case they try to walk off of it. So you have that working in your favor. Also, I want to get this. So many gems that I can grab while I am here. Am I missing anything? I shouldn't. But I'm going to check after I get the super flame just to be sure. So, so far this has been a very interesting game. I should mention that. Oh, I do have to get up there. Oh, bother. And that's going to be pretty interesting, too, because... Can I get... I possibly can't even get up there from here. There's... Nah, I can't jump backwards. Can I? No, I can't. So I'm going to have to find another... Oh, of course! This ledge. Now this question mark jar contains gems, but whenever you hit one, another one shows up somewhere else in the level. You're going to be backtracking through the level in order to hit all these all these jars just to hit that gem, just to get all those gems. And now, oh boy, I almost messed that up. Come on, can I get the... Yes, I can. There we go. We can now get two Calyx out of the way now. And apparently when you hit them with the Super Flame, they go even higher than when you ram them. It appears. Which is really good. So you can give them some height as well as some distance. So now we have three Calyx in the pen now. Is there any other place left that I can go? Not here. So, we're going to have to do something. Ah. Thankfully, I left the easier Calyx for last. And in case you need to go back up to the main path for whatever reason, you can do that. With that little whirlwind there. Thankfully, getting the Calyx around isn't too hard. At least not these two. And if I could actually maneuver these guys to where I want them to go, that would be great. You go over here. You go over here. Let's see if I can get another extra life butterfly. Probably not, but I can get, always get closer to one. And now, these guys are going to be wandering around aimlessly because I'm nowhere nearby. Kind of weird that you have to 
Use your flames and your ram to get these guys around. But it's worth Thanks, it. Spyro. Here's a little something, you know, for the effort. So we get an orb out of this. There are two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. But this is a two-parter. This is a three-star orb. So we have to find two more calyx for to get another orb. So after hitting this worm, we're gonna go in here. And as we go through here, we're gonna re come in into contact with yet another orb mission. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Hmm. Find the professor. And up there is Juliet. So we need to take care of some enemies first. As we make our way through here. And as we go through here, we're going to find the Calyx. Here's one of them. Also, there's something up there in that little nook there in the wall. That will come into play later. For now, I want to get the Cowlick up there. The professor's over there. There's the other Cowlick. And we need to get the Cowlick all the way to the edge here. Can I... S okay, good. There we go. Wanted to make sure I was centered so that way it would hit the ledge on the way to the other side. Because I don't feel like corralling than any more than I already do. And... Come on. There we go. So that's one of the Calyx down. We just need to get the other one. And the other one's near the Professor. And we're getting close to that... 20 li li minute limit that I put on myself at pretty much the beginning of this Let's Play. So let's go ahead, get the other Calic, because I know that's going to take me the remainder of the time here. And then we can carry on the next video with the rest of Zephyr. Now where do I go? Okay, that's where I go from here. Okay. Go ahead and grab some more gems. Get these. I can go always talk to the professor later. I can always get the rest of those gems later. You need to. Well, at least there are stairs there, so I guess these will do. I'm gonna get this guy up here. Thankfully, the calic won't fall down. And we should be able to get the gems here. Why not? Fill some time. And now, to get the calic up here. Now, once again, we're going to have to be very, very careful. Don't get this guy. Don't flame this guy too close to the edge or ram the calic from just far enough away that the calic basically falls into the pit there and you have to do some more corralling. And the worst is basically over. We now have that seventh Calic. All we have to do now is just get it back to the Calic pan. And I'm about to say there we go, but then the Calic's got in the way. Thank you. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. And for this, we get another orb. So, 
So, we've gotten quite a bit of things done here in Zephyr. But next time, we get to do basically everything else. So join me next time where I do everything else in Zephyr. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!